Transformers, bring beast back. I know, right? There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm actually on Cybertron right now. So, guys, welcome to part 7 oh. of Mega Man 5. And the reason why there was no videos of this yesterday, and why we're doing it now, because two reasons. I had a very hard time on Star Fox that I literally got stuck on a boss for an hour, and shortly after there was something that Charles needed to straighten out. Yeah, I had, I had some like d um, stuff I had to deal with with some friends and get shit worked out, but everything cool now. But now, also slipstream. But this doesn't look like Rule sixty three uh, uh, star screen like it's supposed to be. Now. Because an animated slipstream is Roll 63, uh, star screen. Uh, moving on. Now, to the zone. Yes, there is a canon female star screen. There you go. There's only. Enjoy that thought. There's only two bosses left. Wait, mini. Are they bringing mini cons back? I wouldn't mind, to be honest. I love Minicons. Yeah, because, like, I'm looking at this and it says it's a Minicon. So, guys, we got Gravity Man and Napalm Man. Who am I going to take on next? Yeah, so let's I'm going to look at some of these. Am I going to be taking on a natural force? Or am I going to be taking on a flammable explosive? Hmm. Napalm's not really an explosive. It's a chemical that, like, basically makes fire sticky. Which, yeah, that's not fun. Oh, yeah. That's a, <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a, a, what's known as a non-explosive sticky fire bomb. Yeah, and, like, dude, though, like, Getting hit by that shit is so torturous that they had to fucking ban that shit. Like, in wars and shit. Like, the Geneva Convention had to fucking put a ban on that shit because it's so fucking brutal. I don't know what Gravity Man level... Gravity Man levels it. L Gravity Man's level is. But I know Napalm Man's is based off the uh, tunnels from Vietnam. Which, funny enough... For that reason, for Napalm levels... Did you watch that Gaijin Goomba video? That this game was banned. Did you watch that Gaijin Goomba video? You must have, because that's, that, that's how I learned that myself. It's a fun level, though, but yeah, it's got a dark history. No, I, w I saw it on um, Planet Dolan Gaming. Uh, I need to watch his fucking dick gaming was channel. It, uh, top, was it 10 secrets, 10 game? was it, I'm certain it was Planet Dolan, not sure. Of course. Yes, they're, they're, they could not have picked any other. Yeah, like, top five best Facial hair and Transformers. Guess who won? Let me guess. Let me guess. Uh. 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 Afrotryon. Yep. I don't know why okay. it took me so freaking long for me to remember his name because I was thinking I was thinking Victor Sigma Victor Sigma I'm like no 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 yeah I get those confused too like think wizard man think wizard dude yeah like, the second is age of extinction hound which yeah I'm looking at this and it is kind of cool someone yeah. called Thundertron yeah I know he got a um, bullet cigar Unicron and then, of course, Rekgar. <laughs> Rekgar. I love Rekgar. 
I'm surprised uh, Revenge of the Fallen um, Jetfire isn't in it because, I mean, even though his beard is just mainly made of like metallic or like metal pieces, he's still got one hell of an ass beard. They got one Bayformers one in there, so. Hmm. And did you know that the uh, hound toy that they actually got out was it the um? The I know it's fucking. Yeah, I know it, it looks like a fucking remold of Bulkhead. Yeah, and he actually I just got, saw it. He actually got the beard. Yeah, I just saw it. Where is it? Uh, give me a second. Uh, all right, let's see some of these other new ones. That's a thumb. Yeah, so I'm currently Wait, looking at my YouTube. I'm still not right crazy now. about the G2 colors for some of these guys, but I guess it's like you know a collector's thing, like a nostalgia thing. Like remember, remember when they or Transformers looked fucking garish. Yeah, it is playing Dolan Gaming. Ten video game secrets you yeah. never realized. Yeah, I need to watch that myself. I need to watch his channel anyway. That's like, um, this, here's a little fact about this game while we're here, still trying to pick, pick a boss. Oh, oh, this might interest you. Transformers, May 2016, shooting date revealed. As we had heard in the recent interview, the next Paramount slash Michael Bay Transformers live action feature will see a 2017 re re release date. But we have confirmation of the beginning of the works, and not a definite location other than the sh Chicago stories, May 2016. So they're going to start filming in May 2016. Okay, because I know that there was going to be uh, number five coming out in 2017, but I. Yeah, but they're going to start filming this summer. Hmm, not complaining. So let's mm. see. Hmm. Wait, what? oh wait, what is this? Um, There's gonna be an animated series on Machinima? What? Let's go, Napalm Man. I was just doing that. Uh, okay, I'm reading this. I'm reading more about this. I was just doing that blindly. Let's go, Napalm Man. Because apparently there's gonna be a Transformers series on Machinima. Machinima. Napalm I'm down to playing with that. Your color's misleading. You look purple from the uh, from your avatar. Liar. Yeah, Napalm's man is. I like Napalm Man a lot. He's probably one of my favorites. Though his weapon is not Napalm. It's just a fire thingy. Oh, so he just got a flamethrower. Big thing. Okay. Basically, it's not Napalm at all. But whatever. Oh, not the kitty. I, I don't I don't play these games for the real world accuracy, R. <laughs> I don't I don't play these games for the realism. <laughs> uh but what is this gonna be like here oh. in the game? Did you stop trying okay, it's gonna to be based on cats? the toys. Okay. All scripts are in. They're shooting some behind the scenes shit. No news yet on the animation side of things. We'll update you as soon as you know. Good, I'm keeping an eye on this. Here's a quote. The Transformers are coming in machine to Machinima. In an agreement between Machinima and Hasbro, the Transformers world will be locked to life on the many too many programming servers that kicks off right smack in the middle of the Combiner Awards. The series introduces new lore and all new characters that combined with the character spans of known for decades will bring the Transformers story tone oh, in a new direction as the Machinima series will deliver mm. raging action and similar and signature humor reasons to Transformers fans. I have hope because Machinima's Mortal Kombat series, the first season anyway, mm -hmm. they knocked it out of the park. That first season was really good. I just got kicked in the face by a cat. So, this has potential to be awesome, and I cannot believe I haven't heard about this yet. I kind of hate myself for not knowing about this yet. I mean, fuck Robots in the Sky Season 2. I'm hyped for this shit. 
Yeah, one of my favorite animals kicked me in the face. Yep, thanks! Which Goodbye. one of your favorite animals? Because there's not, there's no foxes. Oh. Was it a tiger? I know this level has tigers. Yeah, a tiger. Tiger, tiger, tiger. Ouch! There's no fox transformers that I know of, but there is a tiger. In in the beasties. And I'm fighting tigers right now, and it's jumping at me. Yeah. So cool, they're actually... There's actually going to be a fucking Machinima Transformers car here, and I'm down to clown with that. Hmm. And since it's web-based and based on the toys, it might be a little more mature, and they might actually... Yeah, I'm down for that. That has potential. Oh, no, go! Boy, I think it's a good time to dive headfirst into Transformers, didn't I? Mm hmm Because, like, there's so much cool Transformers shit happening. It's Beast Wars 20th Anniversary... There's an ongoing series, which I will give Robots in Disguise 2015 a shot after I watch Prime. Because um, I don't like a lot of the design. But, I, I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Bayformers 5 is coming out, which, again, if I can find a way to watch them, I will give the Bayformers movies another shot. Number 3 is good. Right. Number 3 is good. Like, I'll even give 2 a second chance. Like, I don't remember liking 2 at all, but I'll give it a chance. 1, I don't know how well it'll hold up, but I did like it a lot when it came out. I honestly don't see what people say is so bad about 1, because it's decent. I mean, yeah, is it perfect? No. I mean, are there better Transformer shit? Yeah, but I don't think it's terrible. I wouldn't consider myself a Bayformers apologist, but I will say that the first one, at least, was good. Hmm. And I'll give the others a shot. Oh, MP28. This... That is the new... Uh, is that just... I don't remember if that's Hot Rod or Rodimus or both. Oh, it's just Hot Rod. Got knee tank, booyah! With a giant pizza. Oh my god! What? They gave him the fucking fishing pole from that one scene where he's fishing with Daniel. Oh my god! That one fucking scene where he's fishing, they gave him the fucking fishing pole. <laughs> Uh, that's why I love masterpieces, because they'll give them the most obscure fucking accessory from one fucking scene. Well, this Vava, if I ever seen him. And like, no, nah, what gets me the worst, though, is that fucking... There's that one scene where Megatron and Optimus Prime fought with the Energon Axe. And every fucking single Optimus Prime toy since has to have the Energon Axe. Even the Masterpiece. Yeah. And, like, that fight was cool and all, but, like, it's not... I don't see why it's so fucking popular. The fight in the movie was fucking sick. But... Something's telling me to... What then again, everything in the fucking yeah. movie was fucking sick. See now. Yeah, there is something in that hole. Death! I just say You know what, uh, I want to buy this Rodimus, and then I want to buy a big the cat with a fishing pole and just have them fish together. <laughs> just put them over a big pond and have them fucking fish. <laughs> and fuck, I'll get Link in there too, why not? <laughs> just have a big old fishing competition. <laughs> Ouch. Would you back off? And there's a reason why I call that purple guy driving the freaking gyrocopter Vava. He got the same character design as Vava from Extreme. It's vile. 
I hate that game for doing that. Oh my god, what's that, um, that little red chest-headed dude? He says his name was... Uh... Whoop! That, that little red, um, guy that gives you items, he got a little red box on his head. Oh, Eddie. Oh. Hi, Eddie. What do you have for me? To, what do you have me for today? Yes, I love you. He just Sometimes gave me he'll give you E-Tanks. He just gave me an extra life. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he'll give you all kinds of shit. Like, in later games, like in the ones where you can actually buy shit, you can buy him as a power-up and he'll give you random items, and sometimes you can get shit like E-Tanks. Yeah, he gives me E-Tanks every now and then. But that's actually pretty freaking cool. Ooh, what is this? Mega Man? Okay, good. Kill it. Oh yeah, I guess it would be the 20th anniversary of the movie too, wouldn't it? Came out in 86. Yeah, it would be. Wow. No, it would be the 30th. 30th? Yeah, 30th. Holy crap. So we had the 30th anniversary of the movie and the 20th anniversary of Beast Wars. How's that for a double hitter? God, I picked a good time to get into Transformers. Wow, I picked a good fucking time to get into this. But we'll back back into. I used to have a ton as a toy as a kid. A ton as a toy. I'll get your kid back toy. Ugh. Jesus. You still oh, there? There's an N. There's an N. I see an N. <laughs> nice. Come on, give me that in. I need that in. And then, and then, and then, and yes. Fuck you, safety protocols. Because that's gotta be the only reason this fucking Megatron looks like shit. Whoa. Because he looks like he turns into a gun. Because he's got the fucking orange bits where a gun barrel would be. It's, it's like this box set of like. 30th anniversary, and it has an Optimus and a Megatron. Mm -hmm. And fucking Megatron, like, they gave him, like, a bunch of red bits, and, like, there's orange, and... <sighs> it's not what I want, but I understand why, because you can't sell guns anymore. Just make him another Nerfatron. That's basically what he is. Except this time, actually make him shoot ner darts. Yeah. Or just make him a fucking um, tank like that fucking leader class one that looks fucking sick. Yeah. That combed out leader class one? Dude, that shit's awesome. Oh, what the all silver one? Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Like, I mean, I'm a purist. I like gun Megatron, but... That's a really good tank Megatron. I can't even hate on that. Even the Armada version is pretty cool. And you know what? Making him a tank... Like, retroactively making him a tank in G1 isn't that bad, because canonically... Him and all the other Decepticons are supposed to be, like, military robots anyway. Yeah. So it works. Yeah, because uh, Starscream is a... Um well, in the movie, he's portrayed as an F-16 fighter jet. Well, not just their alt modes. It's because of, like, that's how the Quintessons designed them. Yeah. Well, it's not just their alt modes. It's, like, in G1 specifically, the Quintessons designed the Decepticons to be the military models and the Autobots to be, like, the regular consumer models. Hmm. Which I actually think is a cool detail. Oh, I see a tank. Speaking but they didn't build Unicron. Unicron was built by some random midget alien in a cave. 
G1 isn't always perfect. Can and I? how some little midget, 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 midget alien guy managed to build a whole fucking planet also knew about the tri quintesson transformers and use their technology and all that sh i don't know and don't get me started on him making fucking tornatron which is a shape-shifting energy monster that is completely indestructible and you know how they fucking beat it what the guy I forgot he put a reverse switch in so grimlock shows up and flips the reverse shit switch and turns it off wow G one's not always perfect, and like the rest of that episode was okay, but like that shit was just kind of like, really. Can I steal one of these tanks that's like stuck into the background art? Man, I'll be to kick a lot of ass with a. Oh god, thank god for, um, for the invincibility frames. My god, I would have been dead if I landed on spikes. Oh god, it's gonna be a doozy. I can't jump. So I have to slide. Jump! Jump! Slide! Slide! Again, wait till Mega Man 8. Why did I spam ghosties? I don't know. Yeah, wait, wait for fucking Mega Man 8. Jeez. And you go back down in your hole. You go down the hole, but. Yeah, the Optimus looks fine. I don't like the fucking Megatron in this set, but oh well. Yeah. And then the, uh, all right, any other cool? Because yeah, I think this is gonna be my new news thing for Transformer shit. Is the site? <laughs> also, Rodimus, use that fucking weapon of yours to cut me a pizza. <laughs> I don't even remember Hot Rod Pod Pizza cutter of doom. I don't even remember that. Hmm. Oh, any other cool shit here? That looks like a fucking. That looks a bo like a bombinous. Uh, comics. G two. Ross in the sky. Season two. Uh, I really wish I could see the tank. Um. Okay. So. They just put out a teaser for season two of Lots in Disguise, right? Hmm? They also announced season four. Guys, I think <coughs> you're skipping a step. Um. I think you're forgetting something. Yeah. I, th I think you're missing a season. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's ridiculous. MP27 Ironhide. I can't wait for it. I'm going to review that. Because Ironhide's one of my favorites. And then they get him, like, fucking shot in the face point blank in the fucking movie. And God, they didn't even have the dignity to show Wheeljack dying. They just showed his fucking corpse. And then they had all the fucking corpses shot into the sun in a later episode. With Optimus Prime as well, but that by the end of the series, they find him completely fine. <sighs> How about the, um... The Rhino? I, I love G1 to death. It's awesome. It's an amazing series. But boy, is the whole series a walking fucking... Dude, the whole series is amazing, but oh my god, is it a giant fucking plot hole. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. What were you saying? How about, um... The, uh... 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 The Rhino. 
uh, iron hide. It was an elephant. Shut up about that. Again, and you know what? I'm pissed because they're making a fucking a bunch of recolors of Robots in Disguise toys and calling them not Robots in Disguise of uh Combiner Wars toys and calling them Predicus. Why didn't you do that for fucking Magnaboss? We could have got a redemption for Beast Wars Ironhide, dude. Damn it. Then again, his G1 toy is not great either. Hmm. He doesn't have a fucking head, and if he does, it's just a little sticker behind his windshield. I was just gonna say, didn't you I uh, mention that you got a sticker for a face? Basically. And later in a reissue, like in order to fix it, all they did is give you a piece of cardboard to stick in the windshield so his head sticks out above it. Wow. Yeah, it took a while to get a good iron hide. Now we're getting a masterpiece, and I'm happy. I'm glad we're finally getting oh. a fucking masterpiece. Napalm's dead, and Crystal Eye kicks his ass. <sighs> Alright, so guys. I almost said v uh, Vietnam. Man, that would just be so wrong. Yeah. So guys, this napalm man down. Ow, I just hurt my thumb. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb more. That reminds me of a uh, yeah, show that I was on. Wasn't that very long? Thumb wrestling. Are Federation. you thinking of that one short show with like the thumbs fighting each other? Thumb wrestling federation. Yes, dude. On fucking uh, G4 when that first came out, they had that. That was part of the program block with the clips of Beast Wars they showed. Hmm. And then they put it on Nicktoons for a while. Yes, I remember Thumb Wrestling Federation, dude. I remember that shit. You got Napalm Bomb. Okay, so a Tales of Ventures weapon apparently is coming into this. Wait, this is before. Oh, this weapon's weird because it's a. Bouncing bomb that explodes. It's not even fire based. So, guys, here's the password for anyone that wants it. Next time, I'll be right back. We'll be taking on Gravity Man. So, guys, the like button with a charge shot if you guys enjoyed. Share the video with your friends. Uh, leave us a comment and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, um. I'm going to go back, I'm still not sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to go back to Stone Man's level and Crystal Man's level and pick up the letters that I missed there. I'll go back to Stone Man's level, I'm not sure what letter he has, but I'm going to go back to Crystal Man's level and pick up the, the 5 I missed. So. And I'm not, I'm still not sure if I'm going to do it on camera or not. I don't know. Keep an eye out for that. So guys, <laughs> later. Oh, got one button. <laughs>